Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, Corey Longnecker here telling you some usually module tips for um, Foundry, but today I am going to do a quick video on an issue I came up, well, I figured out due to running um, a Linux variant on another machine for another project I had. It has nothing to do with Foundry, but um, what ended up happening is it was a PM2 issue. So something that I, I suppose PM2 is not good about is um, by default with its logging, um, it tends to just keep hogging as much space as possible in a lot of its logging processes. And it just eats up space and eats up space and eats up space. And all of a sudden you can't log into your system because there's no space to even start anything. Um, this was a graphical user interface issue. Um, I was able to get in through the command line and do stuff that way uh, because it doesn't take anything to, to boot up that way. Um, but this could pose a problem with, with um, if you're hosting it on Amazon or, or something like that, um, regardless of whether it's a Amazon Linux distribution or Ubuntu, um, it could still pose a problem. So I don't know if it's doing it in Foundry, if, if the way PM2 logs in here is different from the way it's logging on my Raspberry Pi. However, I thought it would be, I thought it would be helpful to do that. So let's jump over to um, Putty and go with that. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to log back into Putty and you'll have to stop uh, your PM2 process if that's happening. And you do that, um, you do that using PM2 stop and then whatever you named it in your command. So for me, it was, uh, over here, you'll see it was foundry. That's what I called it. So when you go to stop it, you have to do it like this PM2 stop foundry. Um, and that takes care of that. So once it's stopped, you'll see that it's it'll say stopped like this, and you can go ahead and do a couple things. So the first thing you want to do is install something called PM2 log rotate. And this might take a second or two. It's going to call npm um, to to pull it in and install it. Um, but what this will do. And you can see it's already started right there, PM2 uh, log rotate. It will, you can specify how big of a file size log should take up. Um, and you can say whether they should be compressed, how long they should be retained. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. So it basically will limit uh, the size and scope of the logging from PM2 to prevent it from taking up more space than than you need. So the next thing is you'll want to do, and this is up to you to decide, um, but you say PM2 set PM2 log rotate max underscore size space and then whatever size you want. I'm going to use 50 megabytes, so 50 capital M. I hit enter. And you'll see now that log rotate max size is 50, retains for 30, um, which is days, and then it compresses false. So I want to only retain it for 10 days. So now I'm going to say PM2 set PM2 log, oops, rotate colon retain 10. So now you'll see that it is set to 10. And then the last thing I want to do is compress them so that it takes up um, as little space as possible. So PM2 set, PM2 log rotate, pull and compress, true. And now what I have working there is max size of 50 for 10 days and uh, they'll be compressed. So this point you don't have to really worry about logging taking up extra space it's it's a precautionary measure i don't know if it's doing this in this instance here but it can't hurt to uh, to do it before you get into trouble so something you might want to do take care of it doesn't take long to do and then you can just drop back into um foundry and 
get it going again and you'll see, boom, now it's online. Log rotates working. So now everything is running and you should be able to get back up into your server. So we could jump back into there and let's just see if I restart this. Should have me log in. That means I'm running and I'm back in business. So just a heads up, something you may want to look at um, and take a look at. I'll put those commands in the description and you can give it a go. So I hope this helps and I hope this prevents any future problems. So thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon.